As far as carbon dating, when it was first invented in 1947 to 53, Willard Libby invented it at University of Chicago, got a Nobel Prize for it, and then moved to Stanford. In 1949, the lower leg of a mammoth, carbon dated 15,000 years old, but the skin was 21,000 from the same animal. Talk about a slow birth. <laughs> 1963, living mollusk shells dated 2,300 years old. It's not getting any better. That's 14 years of practice with carbon dating. 1970, they said if a carbon date supports our theories, we put it in the main text. If it does not entirely contradict them, we put it in a footnote. If it's completely out of date, we just drop it. 1971, freshly killed seal dated 1,300 years old. 1975, one part of a mammoth is 40,000 years old, and other parts 26,000. It's not working. 1981, it's not working. It, ha it has never worked. 1984, living snails, carbon date 27,000 years old. <laughs> one atheist said, well, yeah, we know why that one didn't work. Okay, then how do you know any of them do work? How, if you know some of them don't work, how could you possibly prove any of the carbon dates are working? You can't. I mean, in a court of law, they'd laugh at you for bringing in carbon dating. 1992, two mammoths found side by side. One carbon dates 22,000 years old, another one carbon dates 16,000 years old. This is not an exact science, folks. 1996, up at Berkeley University, they used two advanced, two different dating techniques. They found these bones were 53,000 to 27,000. That's a 96% error. <laughs> this is not science. This is fairy tale stuff. It gets worse with potassium argon dating. You need video seven for that one.